Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, let's update our view on the euro currency. So yesterday it was not really very significant price action, market mostly stand in the same area. But uh, the overall price action that we see on the intraday chart doesn't really encourage on taking any long position. So if you remember in the weekly report and the weekend, we have made an assumption that still euro currency looks right now a bit heavy. And uh, currently some reassessment by investors of the current uh, situation in the economy of the United States and the global economy, the overall political environment uh, takes the lead and investors gradually turning from the some uh, emotion judgment on the situation that uh, was dominating in the end of the 2018 right now to the some common sense and understanding that in reality uh, that the statistics of the United States economy was really not bad and actually maybe it is too early to talk about some big reversal in the markets besides uh, this uh, unstoppable unrest in France this uh, difficult uh, situation, political situation in Germany and um, this uh, uncertainty about the Brexit and what really will happen so this also doesn't bring some optimism to investors so uh, besides from the pure technical point of view uh, here we could judge on the uh, price behavior in relation to the stock market so uh, the, the, the point is that uh, the, 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 the European stock market is deeply oversold on the monthly chart and currently we see the pullback that's standing uh, as on, the, on all major uh, European indexes this year stocks 50 Germany DAX so and uh, th this action uh, should last for a few weeks and it just has started so I expect that mar we will get an area around uh, for example I will show you the DAX index this is daily chart this is the hand shoulders pattern that I'm talking about on DAX and uh, I expecting the, to get DAX somewhere around uh, 1170 1180 so in these areas so it means that market should pass at least um, um, 600 700 uh, points to the upside for example this candle stands uh, just slightly above the 100 points so uh, as you can see there's pretty nice room uh, till the fin final destination point uh, it doesn't mean that they will move an equal amount from the euro currency and the DAX but overall direction will, will, will stand and as you know that uh, the stock market usually rallies when the currency becomes weaker so this fundamental relation is based on interest rates or anticipation of the interest rates or um, in relation to the United States dollars or anyway uh, since we have the situation on the DAX uh, on the stock market it means that the euro currency probably will remain under pressure besides uh, finally if we'll take a look at the dollar index uh, the picture on the dollar index looks a bit different compared to weekly uh, euro so for example on the on the dollar index take a look how reversal has happened so actually uh, on on uh, euro currency, if you will take a look at the weekly chart, it's very smooth and uh, mostly flat action. But here is definitely retracement right to the major six one eight support. Besides, on the daily chart, we already talked about it. So it was completed A B C top X O P targets. So it was agreement daily oversold. And take a look what strong candle has been formed last week. So this uh, means that probably some action to the upside could continue. And I am not excluding the chance that. Um, <coughs> COP target could be hit. It's approximately 9830 area stands above this level. That that by uh, that's the reason, guys, already why I was not sure about the deep retracement here on the dollar index and the deep retracement on the euro currency due to the existence of this target. So uh, this time uh, market shows the deep pullback. Or the, although I thought initially that market will move straight forward to the COP, but currently the uh, some intrigue around this target appears again. It means that on the euro currency we should be very careful. If you 
plan to take any longs position be extra careful and use protection of your position so it's really very tricky moment for a bulls on your currency it doesn't mean that this will be some kind of the long-term bearish trend but i'm not excluding the chance that market could return right back down to the lows <clears throat> because if you'll take a look and directly at the euro currency so first of all market has dropped below the monthly pivot point and here is also two two fib levels that was the 50 percent measure support of the whole upper direction was 618 support from these lows to this top also some intraday targets have been completed with a b c d if you remember we have traded it last week <clears throat> if your currency did indeed it would be bullish market that it definitely will be enough to hold it and to turn up again besides take a look at the pace of the drop it's really fast it's really fast acceleration so uh and harmonic swing has been exceeded as well so it means that currently well i would suggest that probably we, we, we will get another um, downward continuation the next destination point will be somewhere around 113 113 area as we said in the vehicle report this is uh monthly pivot support one major fib support but guys here is very important moment is breaking of this line because this is actually flag consolidation on the monthly chart and breaking of this flag could mean the further downside continuation the first destination will be again 112 lows so that's approximately what could happen on the year on the follow time from chart mostly we have the same picture as I, as we said in the weekly report market shows very accurately the harmonic swings although they are different speed so you can see here it was very fast retracement here was flat retracement but the depth of the retracement approximately the same um, and uh, take a look at the reaction uh, how market reacts on this collapse so mostly it's very flat action no attempt to reestablish some upward action no attempt to show some rally so currently i do not see any good background for taking any long position besides here you could recognize a kind of the bearish dynamic pressure so market shows the bull trend but price action is not it means that downward downward action could be continued and here we are dealing with this this the same uh, a b c top pattern that was op actually that was our first long entry as we caught just the minor retracement um, now we're watching for xop that stands in 12.95 so it's approximately 113 area so right here we're in agreement with the monthly pivot support one so that's what we were watching for on your currency the fact that market stands here for the flat as you can see mostly could have a relation to dax index so if we'll take a look on the dax uh, market is overbought so and you can see the recent action also recent session was flat on the tight range as soon as market will abandon the everybody and RL and stock market will continue your currency probably also will continue downward action so let's keep watching what will happen uh, currently we do not see any good bullish setup for trading and uh, actually overall situation stands very tricky for bulls and really will be a tough task to trade it long currently um, on the euro